All right, what's going on guys? It's Shev. We're back here on some more Modern Warfare 3 and today we are finally going to unlock Borealis. The only weapon that I have left to do is the Karambit Knife. If we go over here to customize, go to Zombies Mastery, you can see that I don't have Serpentonite and I am currently 35 out of 36 Serpentonites unlocked. The final one being this one right here where we just need to get 10 special or elite zombie kills with the Karambit. So we got the knife on, uh, we got this dead wire thing, we got an uncommon aether tool, no crystal whatsoever, we got jug and we got stamina. Real quick, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on all of these camo grinding videos especially all of the ones whenever we actually complete them. the feeling of accomplishment and euphoria this is really what you do the grind for to be able to look at it and have a representation of your commitment it feels great to look at after you go and unlock it it just feels so good so if you enjoy these camo grinding videos let me know down in the comment section and by leaving a like on this video now that means we have unlocked the multiplayer mastery camo for the modern warfare 3 weapons and the zombies mastery camo for the modern warfare 3 weapons but there is a third and final grind out there which is for the modern warfare warfare 2 weapons called bioluminescence that's really the biggest one and rarest one but this one is considered probably the favorite of all of the mastery camos that they ended up adding this year giving us three mastery camos and the fourth one still being connected from modern warfare 2 in orion this one is the clear favorite it's not to say that interstellar is bad or bioluminescent is bad but people definitely seem to favor borealis i made a video just like this yesterday for serpent tonight i did all of those as soon as i was done with the video i went and finished the rest of them i only needed around like 20 more of them or something when i put that video out now we're here on this final one with this karambit i'm not a big fan of the karambit i mean the cool inspect and everything but the knife itself is just so little and funny looking so i actually have a new strategy that i've been doing while this will be basically a repeat of yesterday's video i'm actually going to do something a little different especially with the knife because doing it in tier two is kind of it's a little risky especially when i don't even have a crystal or enough for a pack a punch instead of going to the more challenging tier two zone uh just surviving in the outlast and just running around there i've just started spawning in and immediately just doing acvs the escorts i just do them tier one escorts and i noticed on average it takes me about five minutes less to actually complete them so plan here is to basically just throw a decoy grenade and then knife the ever-living shit out of any special zombie we're gonna throw that down right and he's dead already that's already one out of ten you know you would think that the knife was actually a real pain but it's really not that bad and i mean it already actually does a whole lot of damage especially in the tier one thing there's like no struggle at all i'm so happy that i tried this out just for a little bit instead of worrying about doing all that tier two stuff with all of the other ones i definitely recommend doing this one if you're not as comfortable with the tier two shit just run the acvs and some bounties in between wherever it takes you just spam them it's pretty much going to take the same amount of time i already got like two of them that's number three Oh shit. Oh shit. Run, 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 run. Get this guy. Got use that. It'll weaken them. I didn't mean to equip that, so now that might actually steal my kills. All right, so we got at least four or five now already in just one contract. Honestly, this whole grind has been very relaxing, especially when you find more and more ways to be efficient with it and don't, you know, really stress too much. And you just kind of approach it, you know, one weapon at a time, one category at a time. Yeah, I don't know what I would do without this frenzy thing. I see some people using shroud and other stuff. Nah, frenzy is just so good. It takes a while to charge, but all right, we got a self too. That's gonna actually be helpful. Uh, we got another escort over here. Easy. This is literally all I did. I just spawned in, not even pack a punch. I actually have enough for a pack. This guy's gonna steal it, isn't he? Come on, don't take it. Oh, he's fighting something. He might not even be concerned with it. Yeah, he's just trying to survive. I'm taking this shit. It's gonna drop right over here. I mean... I killed it. I don't know if I stole it from him or not. It might have been a contract. I wonder if that counted for me. Thanks, dude. I guess. I mean, he led it to me. I, I don't know. I didn't want to try to kill it. I really hope he doesn't go and steal my elites now, though. I either made a friend or an enemy. I can't tell. Okay, he's leaving. Whew. Close one. We almost socialized. Got that guy. Oh, shit. Come on, let's get moving. Let's get moving. All right, I'm gonna pop this and kill them all. Can I actually do this? I hope so. Keep swinging! It works. Now, if they were tier two, I don't think so, actually. Oh, got another one. It's gotta be, like, number seven. Just need a few more. And we're still only at the 35-minute mark. We've only been in for, like, 10 minutes. Got him. He's dead. I'm gonna throw these down. Oh, I got it right there. Beautiful. Hey, I didn't even know that was the last one. I guess that one did actually count. All right, now we can just exfil. We don't even need to finish this shit, to be honest. But we'll finish this out, get the reward, and then exfil properly. Oh, and we got a 2x. I didn't think that that was it. I didn't expect to unlock it right there. Oh, it feels good. Actually, no, we can take this teleport thingy right here. 
800 meters. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be, too. I'm happy that I know this for, you know, the bioluminescent grind, though. Fuck all that tier 2 shit going in there. Specifically, I'll go into the tier 2 thing for, like, tier 2 specific challenges and disciples. But just getting specials, I'm just gonna run those escorts the whole time. Now, the question is, what weapons do I pick for bioluminescence? So, for Borealis, it requires 36 weapons to unlock. That's all of the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. But for Borealis, it requires 51. The thing is, there's not 51 total MW2 weapons. There's, like, over 70. So there's actually a lot of leeway where you can just choose like for free 20 different ones in place of, uh, you know, maybe doing some ones that don't seem so fun. A lot of people would skip sniper rifles and stuff, but for me, I definitely don't want to skip the sniper rifles because I want to use the sniper rifles, you know what I mean? It's going to be common that I'm going to be using it. Eventually, I'm going to get bioluminescent for all of them, but once I get the camo itself, I'll really, really take my time on the net. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. This has never happened before. Earlier today, I was talking about how it's strange how many people talk about packet bursts and crashing issues, and I haven't had any at all. I barely even lag. I have some moments like that, also in particular whenever I'm in vehicle. I don't know why. Sometimes whenever I'm in vehicles, I'll, like, have some weird rubber banding shit going on. And we're home free. We're out beautiful and i still don't even have act one done yeah see so act one tier three i haven't done anything and i got that in less than like 15 minutes or something like that 250 zombie kills and i'm out free was never in any danger show it to me all 36 boom borealis look at that shit it's beautiful oh, i always feel so nice so i could go over here to the cat amr for example and then i go over here and you can see that i have priceless and interstellar and everything it's beautiful it was really nice and then i tab over expecting to see a bunch of lock stuff it's right there it's beautiful there it is borealis oh it looks so good it's so beautiful there's definitely a reason why it's the favorite out there i'm still kind of undecided on which one is going to be my favorite but the thing is i'm not really going to be able to use this camo that much uh in, in the process considering uh, i'm going to be using modern warfare two weapons exclusively now you know during this whole grind but let me change my classes up i got time to get started tonight as well uh i'm not sure which weapons and stuff i'm gonna start with though i'm so happy that they did this though imagine we only had one camo grind in this whole thing and we didn't have all this extra stuff to do and i love that there's a camo that's like about going the extra mile but then there's the extra extra mile where you go over here to the view weapon mastery for example right here there's still all the mastery charms which obviously i mean that's i haven't even seen the charms for the mw3 mastery things i, I don't even know what the grand mastery Mastery one looks like. Is there any video of the Grand Mastery one? Is there a video or anything or a picture of the calling card that you get potentially? Because there's going to be the Grand Mastery charm for the MP, and then there's going to be a Grand Mastery charm for zombies as well, which is interesting too because it actually looks like rusted and shit over here. I I'm really curious what that'll all look like then. So the multiplayer one requires a thousand just regular player kills with certain camos equipped. It's pretty fun, but mind numbing. You just play the game at that point, and by the point that I'm doing that, I'm just spamming shipment anyway. It doesn't really matter. Zombies one requires 3,000 zombie kills. Now, the thing is, I have, like, near 100,000 zombie kills already, and I went through the Borealis grind once, so really, I mean, I'd assume that getting all of these charms is kind of close to, like, I have a lot of weapons that are over, like, 4,000 kills, so I feel like if you do enough to just earn the camos all over again, you should be able to go and get all, yeah, uh, there's just, there's so much. Let's go in game. The nerdiest shit possible is getting all of those things as well. That's the nerdiest shit possible right there. You get all of the mastery charms for every single one of them. I'm also assuming Treyarch's thing, their whole system is gonna lean into this one even further. I can't imagine they're gonna ban this kind of system and how smooth it's all kind of worked out. Yeah, there's some bugs here and there, but progression-wise, it's generally very, very good, especially for leveling and stuff like that. It's been good. Very, very seamless in comparison to other, you know, weapon transfer uh, times. You guys remember when Cold War was transferring and shit too, right? <laughs> oh, man, look how beautiful this shit is. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. I could totally, yeah. I mean, there's definitely a reason why people think that this is the best one in the game for sure. It looks so clean looks so good the colors are just always nice there's never like an ugly part of the rotation like when orion it had certain parts of it where when the camo's animation got to a certain point it was just really really covered in like not so good looking colors speaking of colors and shit how does this look in the dark Ooh. okay this isn't even the darkest corner that i can find and this shit is just glowing this is one of the darker ones that i can find on the map but holy shit yeah and it looks great with the charm as well because it's got some of like the green turquoise man they really do look more detailed when you put on depth of field as well really exaggerates how sharp it looks very very clean for sure i'm definitely gonna like if i was playing multiplayer right now like if i didn't do bioluminescent i'd probably be running around with like a borealis primary just to like flex a little bit on the mp guy and then have the interstellar secondary but a noticeable secondary like a launcher or some shit. i bet it looks even better on zombies as well the issue is that if i go into zombies it, there might be an issue oh man Man, look how bright this shit 
Oh my goodness. Now they're making me want nighttime maps. Is there any maps out there that this could like really shine on? Man, I bet this looks beautiful on zombies. But yeah, anyway, the uh, multiplayer, the interstellar grind and all the weapon levels and everything like that took me about uh, nine to 10 days to do. I didn't do the uh, early trick or anything like that to go and play early. I played on release with everybody else with the global release of the whole thing. I didn't start early or make a new account or travel out of the country or some shit. I got on with everybody else. It took about 10 days to get the uh, interstellar thing. Obviously having all the weapons already leveled from multiplayer helps a massive amount really the biggest challenge of the whole thing is really just the weapon levels the weapon levels are like the ultimate gatekeeper of all these things if all of the challenges are available you can finish so many of them like all together and so it's just it works out it really does. Since I have literally all of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons done because I did all of them last year and stuck them even afterward, besides a lot of the melee weapons, all of those are already ready, leveled, and waiting for me to get bio on them. So but yeah, anyway, just thank you guys so much for all the love and support on all these camo grinding videos. This is where a lot of people, you know, give up. This is where people are starting to second guess, like, do I really want to go for all those bioluminescent weapons? Because you also have to consider the fact that people are just tired of using Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Even though a lot of people feared that people would end up spawning in with like full loadouts day one and everything i didn't hear too many complaints about it to be honest with you and it seems like the modern warfare 2 weapons might seem a little bit weaker than the mw3 weapons uh, in head to head probably due to some kind of attachment issue or some shit but regardless in zombies they're just going to be effective regardless so anyway thank you guys so much for all the love and support it's not done yet